Dan Perkins, Jasper County cover crop guy. It's April 15th. We are in a field of annual ryegrass that was harrowed in essentially September, early September last year. And the question is, will we spray this annual ryegrass this week, April 15th? And that is a hard question to answer. Um, it's partially some of the criteria we want to consider is where is our planting date or when is that planting date? So they're going to seed uh, May 1st, May, first week of May for seed corn and soybeans in this field. It's a split field and um, we have you know, ryegrass that's, you know, four inches, three to four inches in growth. Uh, we clearly have active growth going on here. There is some brown here, but not brown at our tips. Uh, so we're actively growing. We want temperatures above 60 degrees for a minimum of three days in a row um, and nighttime temperatures to stay above 40 when we're going to spray. So you really need to look at your field, what your field is looking like, um, when your planting date was, what your planting date will be for your corn crop or soybean crop, whatever crop it will be, and then assess the next five days of forecast because we need that glyphosate to translocate down four feet into its roots. In order to do that, we need to be spraying between the 10 a.m. and really 1 p.m. window. Uh, photosynthesis stops three, four hours before sunset. So we need that to be fully uptaked and active and working uh, to get those roots that deep. We need our AMS, we need proper mixing in our order of our tanks. We need our pH below five, ideally. So AMS deals with a hardness, but it doesn't really deal with pH. So putting in citric acid, um, also maybe um, putting in atrazine, um, not atrazine with our glyphosate, but maybe doing a soil uh, residual like basis, uh, some, some sort of product like that to make sure it's not antagonistic. And then also making sure we're doing 10 gallons of water carrier, not more, um, because we want it concentrated and we don't want to use um, our low drift nozzles. Uh, we want nozzles that uh, really get full coverage because we need to get that coverage of this leaf blade all the way down and around as much as possible. And then today it's too windy. So again, Dan Perkins, Jasper County cover crab guy, will this annual rye gas be sprayed? It's, it's a field by field, kind of local by local decision that has to be made.